Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So till now we have covered the fuel oil supply system as well as the fuel wall train. So as you can see from this slide, the there is a line for LPG from supply fuel oil train to main engine and from main engine to this return fuel oil train. So basically these pipings are double oil piping. Now in this video we will see uh, what is the purpose of providing these double oil piping as well as uh, the safety factors which are incorporated onto this double oil piping system. So let's begin with the video. So as you can see on this slide, this uh, red line it basically represents the deck. So when the LPG or basically the uh, propane enters this engine room from the deck to the main engine, it is provided with double wall. So this section from deck till main engine is double wall. Now the LPG which is uh, returned from the main engine or recirculated back to the fuel gas supply system from the main engine is also double wall. So over, over here as you can see this line which is going out from the deck to the return fuel wall train is also double wall. So the main reason is the safety. So in case the inner pipe uh, is having some kind of rupture, rupture or some kind of leak then that will prevent the outflow of the LPG into the machinery space and basically this provides safety for any kind of leakage from the inner pipe. So now when this uh, double oil piping is connected to the main engine it will be connect connected with the help of uh, the o-rings and as we all know that o-rings are not 100% leak proof so there may be chances or there will be minute leaks. So for that purpose a ventilation system is provided so that it, it is continuously ventilated this outer section is continuously ventilated and uh, keep one thing in mind that this uh, double oil piping system is totally or, or you can say fully incorporated into the main engine cylinder head that is uh, it's not this piping all the components which are uh, necessary for the operation of engine onto the dual, dual, dual fuel mode all those components if they need to be uh, installed on this main engine they will have a provision for this double oil piping so basically from this point from the entry point onto the deck till it exits this uh, double oil piping is there including the main engine so for proper functioning of this double oil piping this need to be ventilated at all the time and for that purpose two electrically driven extraction fans are provided at the outlet of this double oil piping so these extraction fans running one at a time is taking suction from over here uh, the inlet of this uh, double oil piping and this air enters the uh, outer periphery of this double oil piping basically the annular space as you can see from uh, these uh, blue arrows so these blue arrows basically represents the flow of the air and this air enters this uh, main engine all the components uh, which are connected to the main engine this air will ventilate that part also and it will come out from the main engine and uh, through this uh, piping it will go onto this blower suction and then it will be directly vented to the atmosphere. So now we know that how the air flows from the inlet of this double oil piping through the outer periphery of this uh, supply line LPG supply line and then it is vented to the atmosphere with the help of these two extraction fans so that we know now the problem comes that when the air is moist that basically uh, basically the air contains moisture so what will happen in that case the air there are chances that it can get condensed and the water can accumulate on these sections the outer periphery of the uh, the lpg line the these under sections the water can get accumulated and this water can lead to corrosion of the pipe and can basically damage the double oil piping system. So to prevent the corrosion, the dry air is supplied over here. So the dry air is basically, uh, this, this, this dry air is coming from the engine room. So the air is compressed, it is dried and then it is supplied. So the air which is produced in the engine room is 7 bar. But over here we just need 1 bar. So before it is supplied it is reduced to one bar or atmospheric pressure and then it is supplied it is supplied through this reducer so that the section uh, the outer pipe section which is 
after this reducer is always maintained uh, maintained at a pressure just uh, below the atmospheric pressure and if there are some chances uh, that this uh, uh, this section can get pressurized so for that the air flow provision is provided so that this section never gets pressurized so now we know that for ventilation purpose dry air is circulated onto the annular space by this extraction pass to prevent the double wall piping from the corrosion now suppose the whole system is in operation and these one of these extraction fans are running and suddenly there is a power failure for these extraction fans so what will happen the ventilation will stop of this annular space of this double wall piping so to detect the flow of the air onto this annular space a flow sensor is provided so in case there is uh, some problem with the extraction fans or when the extraction fan is stopped then the sensor will detect and it will trip the whole system so till now we have seen that the annular space of this double wall piping system is ventilated and in case the uh, there is a power failure to this extraction fans then this flow sensor will detect uh, that there is uh, no ventilation and it will trip the whole system now we will see that what happens when uh, the inner piping that is the piping which is carrying the lpg from the uh, fuel wall train when they when that pipe gets damaged or when there is some rupture or some pouring is uh, damaged in the main engine then how the system will detect that some uh, leakage is there in the double wall piping so for that purpose two hydrocarbon sensors are installed at the outlet of this double wall piping just before the extraction fan so what will happen if uh, some leakage is there so now these hydrocarbon sensors are set at a different range for detecting the hydrocarbons so these hydrocarbon sensors will detect for any kind of leakage and they will give alarm as well as they will trip the whole system so we have seen how the ventilation is carried out and how the leaks are detected when there is some kind of rupture or some pouring damage then these hydro sensors uh, hydrocarbon sensors will detect the leakage and it will give alarm and as well as trip the system now we will see why these two walls are there one wall is at the outlet and one wall is at the inlet why these two walls are provided on the double wall piping system so if you remember from my previous video in those videos i have mentioned that when the main engine is changed over from the primary fuel to secondary fuel then just before change over or when we give a start signal to the secondary fuel mode then a sequence of tests are carried out on to the piping system from the main engine till the fuel wall train to check the intactness so that uh, any kind of leakage should not be there so in that process one part is uh, pressure testing of this outer pipe so this outer pipe of this double wall piping system is also pressure tested in that sequence and for that purpose these two walls are provided one at the inlet and other at the outlet so these two walls are shut during that test and extraction fans are also uh, stopped and this air supply is there so this wall will uh, open and it will provide a uh, seven bar pressure inside this annular space of this double wall piping system for pressure testing so this pressure transmitter is there this will uh, check if uh, the pressure is maintained for a particular time period and if uh, that test is passed then only it will uh, continue with the further process of starting the main engine on secondary fuel or else if some kind of leakage is there then it will uh, uh, basically terminate the process and it won't allow the secondary fuel to start so as this is the safety system this is very important for the proper operation of the main engine on dual fuel mode so before we end this video let's revise the whole process in one go so all the lpg pipeline which is there in the engine room are double wall and uh, for proper ventilation of these annular section of these double wall piping extraction fans are provided so these extraction fans basically suck the dry air and uh, they basically maintains the 
ventilation of this double wall or the uh, ventilation of the annular section of this double wall piping and uh, if some kind of uh, power failure is there for these extraction fans then these flow sensor will detect and they will basically shut off the hole or basically trip the whole dual fuel system and uh, to detect for any kind of leakage two hydrocarbon sensors are provided and for pressure testing the uh, whole piping system from the deck uh, till the engine room two walls are provided one at the outlet and one at the inlet so that the line can be pressure tested just before the main engine is changed over from primary fuel to secondary fuel so this is what is all about uh, double wall piping line diagram so we till now we have covered the supply system which included the deck part as well as the fuel gas supply system and then we have uh, seen the fuel wall train that is uh, the supply fuel wall train and written wall fuel written fuel wall train and now we have seen the double wall piping system from the deck tray till the engine room so till now uh, most mostly uh, supply of lpg we have covered the whole supply system of the lpg till the main engine now we will see what all major changes are there on to the cylinder head of this uh, lgip engine so the next video will be on the cylinder head components or the major cylinder uh, major components of the cylinder head of this lgip engines for the operation of the engine in the dual fuel mode